Hello. So my name is Brittany Smith. I am one of the librarians here on the Kingwood campus. So I am going to show you really quickly how to do some of the research for your English class. So hopefully by now you've answered the question you of your two songs, the ChatGPT song that chose for the story, that it chose for the story you chose, and then the song that you chose for the story. So now we need to find the meaning and the history and everything behind these songs. So to do that and to find these sources, the first thing that you're going to need to do is go to lonestar.edu. Don't go to D2L or login or anything like that. Just go to lonestar.edu. So from here, you're going to want to click on right here where it says libraries. And on this page, a couple of things is that one, you do have the option to chat with the librarian here if you're struggling to find articles or if you need any help and you're at home. It is a real live librarian. It is not a chat bot. Um, so you will get a librarian from one of the campuses that can help you with finding some articles. We are going to focus on this search bar right here. So I chose the story the belt and I typed into chat GPT what song best fits the belt and it told me Mad World by Gary Jules fits the belt the best. So the first thing that you're gonna notice is I put Mad World in quotations. The reason I do this is because I want the databases to search both of these words together. So when you're searching your song for your song in the database, make sure your song is in quotations. So we're just gonna click on right here, search. And voila, the first thing that you're gonna see is here are my results. And then you'll notice that the words that I typed into the search bar are all highlighted or bolded where they're featured in either the article or the title or maybe just the quick little subject about it. So let's say, for example, I want this one. It's a mad world for Gary Jules. You're going to see one of two things. You're either going to see access now online full text, or you're gonna see access options. When you click on the menu for access options, it'll give you different ways that you can access the article. If it says access now, you'll click on access now, and then it will give you the quick little article that it is. Now, one thing that I do want to point out is that um, in each of the databases, there is a way up here that you can cite. So you're using a MLA format for your class. So whenever you click on cite, you're going to go style and you're going to scroll down to MLA 9th edition. This gives you your work cited. You are going to need two to three sources minimum. So one source for the song that you chose, one source for the song that ChatGPT chose, and then you're also going to need um, a source either from your book maybe um, to kind of compare and contrast those two songs and why you think one of them fits the story better than the other. So that's for you, that is your decision. Now, if you wanna go back to your search, all you have to do, click this back button. And you can just scroll through and see what it is that you can find. So the next thing that I wanna show you is that right here under filters, if you click on filters, if you know when the song came out, you can always go to publish date, 
custom range and you can put the date that the song was released or the year that the song was released and you can search by that specific timeline. Now, if you do have any questions, of course, your library chat is also here on the database page. But if you do happen to have any questions, please feel free to ask your professor or email me, whatever it is that you may need help with. And I will hopefully see you all soon and have a great time researching. Bye-bye.